and sentenced to six months in prison just for wandering the streets, came to court with a bewildered look on his face, explaining that he was a tourist. He didn't expect his sentence to be increased to six years for pleading not guilty. Jack's face was full of disbelief. What kind of a judge would impose such an arbitrary sentence? All the prisoners arrested that day were taken to the airport by soldiers. The prisoners were assigned to different prisons according to their size. Young and strong men like Jack. He was assigned to a transport ship on an unknown planet. He tried to explain that he was just an innocent tourist. To his surprise, the soldiers pulled out their electric batons and threatened him. Jack had no choice but to enter the transport. The escort asked everyone to take off their shoes. Little did he know that the prison didn't allow prisoners to wear shoes. After a short orbital leap, the transport ship arrived on a remote planet. Jack looked out the window. The scene outside was chilling. Several prisons stood in the center of the lake. Next to them was an endless desert. The Empire seems intent on hiding the contents of the prisons. The doors of the transport ship open slowly. Prison guards approach to greet them. The prisoners are herded barefoot onto the prison platform. The guards then order the men into the prescribed position, hands on their heads and feet together. A few more people emerge from inside the prison. All of them are wearing heavy shoes. Behind them, the doors of the transport ship begin to close. After the handover is complete, the escort soldiers are eager to get back to their mission. This prison is an imperial factory. The young men have been assessed as usable labor. It's not surprising that even the prisoners can't escape the empire's oppression. They will spend their sentences in intense work. Those with previous convictions may be surprised. They wonder why this prison is so clean and hygienic, and that these guards would dare to stand in front of so many prisoners with their bare hands. It's all thanks to the minimally invasive law enforcement techniques invented by the empire.